Hey there everybody, welcome back to Jack and Dexter, the Precursor Legacy! This is Spiraling Helix, last time we made our way through the dreaded spider caves and it got the worst power cell in the game! Thankfully though, this time we are- wait, it's Scout Lights, okay. This time, we are gonna get many power cells right off the bat by heading down here to... That's... Not where I thought the place I was going was. Um, let me double check where I'm heading first, guys. Okay, that cave up there. That's where I'm going. No enemies in there, just a whole lot of power cells for me to collect. What we're actually gonna be doing though is heading through the lava tube in order to make our way to Gull and Maya's base of operations. But first of all, we have two kooky miners down here who I'm sure can give us a few power cells for some precursor orbs. Hey Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh Passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Duh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is we may have a few power cells laying around and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Okay, so that's 360 precursor orbs. For four power cells. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. A bit unfortunate though, the first three cutscenes when you do trade your orbs are all the same. So, hope you like this phrase. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Yeah, power cell. Boom. And two more remain. All my orbs are going away. All right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. But thankfully, this last one is a good one. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Uh, here's a... A power cell. Yeah, yeah. What he said! That's it! You cleaned us out! No more power cells! Birds getting revenge! On the miners. Oh yeah. Or the grumpy miner. Anyway, they do have quite a big crystal here, but they're never gonna get that out of here. Now, there is actually a scout fly that I ran past, so make sure you pick that up. And now, I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. I am actually going to use the darn teleport in one of the Sagers huts. And go to the blue Sagers hut. You might be wondering why we're going here. Well, if you stuck around long enough in last episode, I did say that we will make a return to the mountain pass as, well, there's a... Pre Damn, power cell! Oh my goodness, I'm just like Wilbur. I can barely even say power cell. It's precursor cell, or power orb. It's never the right times. And okay, I was going, I was going like, what? Where are the people? But no, they're still here. Anyway, just gonna quickly make my way to the mountain pass, as there is a. Power cell that I'm missing 
I just remembered what is the enemy is in that water. Oh my goodness. Stay away. Okay, now as we are approaching this area, what you want to do is look out for the obvious yellow eco vent. That is now open as we can now blow up this boulder and grab our power cell. Yeah. This is the one bit of backtracking in the whole game that you have to do. No other form of it. And yes, you saw that right. You can stack both blue and yellow eco. Only here on the Zuma though. This is the only time you can have more than one eco source at once. And that's because the blue eco isn't actually used as well on Jack. So even though Jack absorbs the yellow eco, the blue eco is actually used from the Zuma itself. Which is how the Zuma goes faster, because Jack doesn't go any faster, he's just riding on the darn thing. Anyway though, it's time to make our way to the lava tube and to ride across a few minecarts as we collect the last of the precursor orbs in the volcanic crater. Why do I keep popping that stuff up on screen? And of course, the last scout fly, which we can actually see right now, up there in that box. Too bad that jump is not an easy one to make. There may even be an invisible wall there. But that's okay because look at all those orbs. I want those orbs. So I'm just gonna wait patiently on this minecart. Oh yeah, that is every precursor orb in this area, and now that is every scout fly in this area. Yeah! We're so close guys, I can taste it. We are coming up to the end game, as when I head round here, this is the lava tube. Well, we're gonna have a brief cutscene with Kira, of course, because why wouldn't we? Kira's always there to help us along to the next area. <laughs> All right, with these additional power cells, I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Citadel? Look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. Okay, off to the Yellow Sage's house we go. And oh my goodness, managing the temperature here isn't as bad as it is in the fire canyon. Like seriously, it's not as bad. Like sure you might die once or twice, but the lava tube just isn't as hard. Anyway, we do kind of have to split up and do a bit of backtracking just so I make sure I get everything. This is just to help me know that I can go straight through. Yes, I'll probably go back on one of those tracks, but hey, now I know. Anyway, if I head down here, I know I'm gonna blow up. But that's okay, because... Got them all! I kind of wanted to die there, because I want to show you something off that's really cool. Like, I saw this in a speed run once, and oh my goodness! I... that's not a path. I was shocked when I saw this, and I'm sure many people would be shocked when they see this too. But much like the mountain pass, and unlike Fire Canyon, there is actually a shortcut in this place. Yes, I know, there's a shortcut here. For someone who's played, you probably wouldn't think, but if you just jump up here, you can go up this amazing lava waterfall. Not what's more, this is the only blue eco in the lava tube. So if you 
never let go of the accelerator, you can actually keep that speed going the whole way through. That's pretty darn crazy. Now, of course, your temperature does go up quite a bit when you are in there, so... Yeah. Try and hit the down water balloon or cooling balloons, unlike I did there. But that's okay. Because I'm gonna do it again! And go up. Okay. As you can see, it's very generous with actually getting you up there. And get it cool. And just like that. Crazy big shortcut and a nice speed boost comes along with it. However, also, don't go further if you don't have all the precursor orbs and scout flies here. There is checkpoints in this one. Now, you need to destroy all of those things. I also recommend you probably grab all the cooling balloons, but I'm not gonna bother. And you can just keep heading forwards. If you do die anytime soon! As you can see, you will spawn up here and you will be able to grab this last yellow eco vent. If you didn't destroy all the things in this room first. Which is also great if you want to hold on to Yellow Eco because it can destroy these bombs. Now, take a look at that Templar gauge down there. That's right, it ain't moving at all. Which is great. All we have to do now is actually look out for the Scout Flies. Which is pretty darn nice. Especially if you don't fail. Especially since when the path does split up like it just did, it's not gonna place any scout flies around the place like seriously and I don't know if you actually saw the template gauge there so I just so I did mention oh yeah it actually doesn't go up it's not just that it doesn't go up it goes down when you're here because we're that high above the place and the lava tube is ventilated we actually lose like the template actually goes down also, these take multiple hits, two hits to destroy them. This is where the scout flies are. Usually the yellow eco will hit them, but the yellow eco doesn't home in as much as you think it would. Just a heads up. And, oh my goodness, I'm out of yellow eco. I thought I had a little bit more. Okay, poorly timed. Don't hit those, I think. They don't insta-kill you, but I don't want to find out. And fine, I won't get the yellow eco. But yeah, just temperature isn't a problem. I think it's mainly because it does go down slowly, but it goes down here. Wait. I missed a scout fly. I'm going backwards! Oh my goodness, you can go backwards! I didn't know you could go backwards. I'm just wondering where I missed it. I'm hoping I missed it in one of these sections. And not back in the beginning section. Please, game. Please. There it is! Okay. Got it. Yes. Cool! That's a fairly clean run-through of the lava tube. I'm dead. But that's okay, because I actually got everything. And wouldn't you know it, it spawned me back at the Yellow Sages hut, which is there, by the way. So let's grab the power cell that we should have grabbed when we got off the Zuma. Yeah. And there's the Zuma. Much better. And let's activate the switch for Kira and Samus. Hey! Where's old short green and wrinkly? This is terrible! Father is missing! I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan, and to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. 
That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. So, oh my goodness, Kira has lost all control. Look at her, she's going absolutely insane. We better head into Gull and Maya Citadel to see what's happening, shall we? I know it's going on a bit long, but we have to save them. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco-silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Okay, I just landed from the middle of a jump or something. But we have our mission, guys, to save the four sages. Wait, where's the... One, two, three... I guess the fourth one's behind the robot somewhere. To save the four sages... Stop the giant robot thing, and stop Gol and Maya from doing whatever it is they're planning to do. So with that, guys, this has been... Girls, I'll remember you. This has been Spiraling Helix. I will see you guys next time when we make our way through the perilous Gol and Maya's Citadel. Bye-bye, everybody.